Well, again, it has such a low um, side effect pro profile that there's really no dangers to, to trying it. It's a really promising technology. I think there's still a lot we don't know, and a lot of research is sort of needed, desperately needed, to, to move this into a space where it can be available to everybody. And so all of the, the studies that we're doing involve people that have had a history, usually of repetitive head hits. Uh, most of them are ex-athletes or current athletes. We're doing a, a pre uh, pre pre-treatment, post-treatment design, where we test them and scan them before they undergo the, the treatment. It's an eight-week treatment. And then we scan and test them again um, after the treatment is, is completed. Most interesting uh, thing to us has been that not a single one of them wanted to give the device back. There's three primary mechanisms that people have considered as to ways that this may be helping. So the first is it improves circulation. So there are um, there are some ways that the, the light affects the vessels and the release of nitrous oxide that actually improves circulation. The second mechanism is, is it addresses mitochondrial dysfunction. So it allows um, energy to pr be produced in a more efficient way. And then the third mechanism is to address inflammation. So there are some thoughts that, um, that the, the light may actually play an important role in reducing inflammatory processes that may occur from a host of different kinds of injury. 